How to make soap in an apocalyptic world. So, the world ended. You survived, but your armpits didn't. Now it's time to reinvent humanity's greatest invention that will keep you from starting another pandemic in the future. Soap is what happens when the fat and lye have a child in a hot pot. Fat takes away the dirt, lye grabs fat on the way, and water takes them all. It's a teamwork, baby! Now, on to the ingredients. Find fat, animal fat, from cow, pig, or something else. We will also need a wood ash. From actual fire, not your grandma. And water, preferably not radioactive. <sighs> Step 1. Making ash. Burn hardwood. Get the white powder that came out of it, not the dark part. We don't want to throw a barbecue party, don't we? Step 2. Making lye. Add the wood ash to the container and let the water filter through it. That's how you get a lye water. It's caustic, so don't even think about drinking it, unless you don't need your guts anymore. Step 3. Now you can start melting the fat and mixing it slowly while adding lye. When it starts to look like a big gloopy mess, stop. That's when saponification occurs. Hard word, I know. Congrats, you are halfway there to making a soap or a chemical burn. Step 4. Pour it into a mold. Anything that will hold shape works. Skull of your cousin Kevin, cup, or some old stinky boots you found. Optional, add some mint or some crushed pine cones for nice aroma. Or don't if you want to smell like bacon. You're the king of the wasteland now. Step 5. Let it sit for a few days until it hardens and boom. You've made your very first bar of soap. Not the prettiest, but it'll do the job. Now you can scrub yourself clean, you beautiful apocalypse survivor. Look at you, so clean and shiny. Now it's time to rebuild humanity, one bar of soap at a time.